Hey folks, welcome once again to yet another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. And yes, the world of beer is truly wonderful, even in these appalling times that we're in. Well, it's the month of August 2022, and uh, as promised, this month I'm doing an All-American Beer Month. Yes, All-American beers that I've never tried before. Some that are from my uh, untapped wish list, as a matter of fact. So, we're going to start the proceedings with Narragansett Lager, which comes in at 5% alcohol by volume, and it's brewed and canned by the Narragansett Brewing Company of Rochester in New York. Now, uh, I have Wayne from Pennsylvania to thank for this brew. He uh, sent it over to me with a few others um, that uh, you know he could procure um, in his state. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much, Wayne. Uh, this was one that was on my untapped wish list, so uh, very keen to try it. Now, uh, yeah, this 12-ounce uh, can or 355ml can has been deep chilling in the Swill and Grog beer fridge for a wee while. It's uh, ice cold, so uh, yeah, I'm uh, keen to crack it open. Now, uh, believe it or not, uh, Narragansett uh, Lager is apparently Beer Advocate's highest rated um, American lager. So, uh, yeah. Let's crack it open and uh, find out what it's like. So uh, I'll pour it out into this glass. All right, a nice pour there. And uh, this is a collectible uh, retro can. Uh, it indicates on the can that it's the can design from uh, 1975. Yeah, a very classic, classy look. All right, so let's uh, get a look at this beer. Yeah, very clear, golden color, uh, quite effervescent. Yeah, nice uh, carbonation there. A little over a finger of a uh, bright white head. Let's move on to the aroma. All right, uh, yeah, a very subtle, sweet smell of, uh, of grain, yeah. Not really detecting any hops or anything like that, but uh, I wouldn't expect to uh, with this style. Yeah, definitely uh, yeah, just a subtle sweet smell of grain. So, we've uh, talked about the appearance and the aroma. So it's time for the most important part of the review, the taste test. I'm really eager to dive into this one, being the uh, first installment of uh, All American Beer Month. So uh, let's dive into it. So a uh, huge cheers to you, Wayne, and uh, a, cheers, a huge cheers to you, the audience. Let's get into this. Hmm. All right. Well, up front, getting some subtle, sweet, bready malts. Um, you know, it's crisp, it's clean, it's refreshing. Yeah, that uh, breadiness really does uh, linger in the palate. Absolutely no bitterness to speak of. Yeah, quite uh, tasty. Um, it's a shame it's winter here in Australia because, um, wow, this would really go down a treat in the summer. Yeah would really hit the spot. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's have another go. Mm. Yeah, very tasty. Um, the body, somewhere between light and medium, just leaning towards medium. It's definitely not watery in any way. Yeah, very drinkable. It's leaving some nice lacing on the glass there, I noticed. And of course, at 5% ABV, you could uh, certainly uh, session this one. Yeah, I can imagine myself uh, sessioning a slab of this. Um, yeah, it would be uh, a most enjoyable afternoon. Hmm. 
All right, well, I can't even cover off the price point, but wow, over in the US where Wayne is, um, this is readily available and uh, yeah, you pay a very reasonable price for it, unlike what it would probably retail for if uh, we ever saw it in Australia, which is highly doubtful. Um, okay, well, I'm rather enjoying this. A very, um, yeah, refreshing, delicious, tasty American lager. I'm going to have one final gulp and give this one a score out of 10. Hmm. All right, well, all in all, yeah, there's nothing offensive about it flavor-wise. Very tasty, very satisfying, goes down smooth. Yeah, incredibly refreshing, a very well-made brew. Uh, I think it's deserving of a solid 9 out of 10. So, uh, yeah, a 9 out of 10 for Narragansett Lager. So if you ever have the opportunity, it's definitely one that's uh, worth checking out. And uh, I feel really blessed to have uh, tried it. Anyway, so that concludes this first installment of All American Beer Month. I'll be back again real soon with another installment for you. But uh, until then, thanks again, Wayne. And uh, to the rest of you, until next time, fare thee well, all.